Hey you guys, happy Sunday. Woo woo, what it do? Uh, I've been kind of MIA for a while. Um, thank you to those who have actually messaged me or left comments wondering where I've been. Uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I never cared to be missed, but it feels good when people recognize when you're not around, uh, when you haven't posted. Um, as I said in the previous video I did a week ago, um, starting on Friday, I have been, I don't like the, even saying the word sick because I don't speak that shit into existence because it's not sick. I've been having sick-like symptoms for over a week and it's frustrating. Let me smoke my cigarette. Hold on. <laughs> and what's interesting is that I went to the doctor. Yeah. I have access to that. Did all kinds of blood work. Tested everything. There's nothing wrong with me. Blood work's fine. The only concern they had, and so did I, was my vast, gross amount of weight gain in such a short amount of time. Which doesn't make sense. Um, it would have made sense a couple months ago when I was living in hotels and stuff. But um, I've been eating better and healthier. Um, not as healthy as I could because I just started working. But, you know, it's it's getting better. It's getting better. So there's no reason for it. However, they gave me um, like three or four pills, like one for nausea, one for vomiting, one for diarrhea, and that crappy Pepto-Bismol shit, which you should never drink. That shit's very toxic for you, by the way. There's a home remedy you can use instead. But anyway, um, and I still can't shake it. And, and, and those feelings, the sickness comes back. Like I didn't take the medications today. It's been over a week. Um... Actually, it hasn't been a week. Tuesday's when I got this stuff, so it hasn't been a week. I've been feeling sick since last Friday. And I, um, if I don't take the medicine, the same feeling comes back. I have saged. I have taken a spiritual shower, a spiritual bath. I have grounded. I have burned sage. I have done Reiki on myself. I every, I've done sun meditation. I tried to go on an adventure on Saturday. Um... And um, it was just so busy. It was overwhelming because there were so many fucking people at this place, which I don't know what I was expecting. I know we're at three minutes. I don't care. I'm just giving an update. Um, so I pulled out my handy pendulum today, and it's what I thought. That stuff's being set in my way. I can always tell when it's something, my body's acting up for something, or if it's something outside of me being placed upon me. And so I'm very heightened and very aware that it's not a sickness it's not an illness um, I know that my sacral chakra has been attacked I know my health has been attacked I know that there's been um, beauty magic and weight gain magic and stuff especially the sacral and solar plexus area um, to keep me not moving not motivated not doing nothing now I did go to work every day last week I just haven't been myself and I haven't done readings and um, because I always want to make sure I'm feeling as best I possibly can before I share that energy with people. Even though I get the energy from source, it's not my energy. I'm just don't, I'm very mindful of my mindset and how I'm feeling um, when I do spiritual stuff. And um, it's funny to me when people throw magic at a magician, when people do. sickness spells to a healer when people try to do weight magic or beauty magic on an alchemizer people should really know their subject I'm more of a girth girl than a length girl and this spell work is more lengthy than it is girthy if you will just saying it's lasting a lot longer I usually I like it when they when the work comes in it's like very intense because I mean it, it puts me down to one knee sometimes but then I learn how to alchemize it and I boost right back up right and that's what I'm used to I'm used to be able to boom, boom oh this is what it is this is where it's coming from who's doing it who's doing it spirit oh boom how do I alchemize it how do I transmute this and boom it's done within two days at the most at the most three days it's been over a fucking week so this one's more of a lengthy one versus a thick one. 
<laughs> Maybe this is what I needed to do a video to start laughing. Um, <clears throat> it's just, um, but it's given me time because I've spent a lot of time out in the front porch. And it's also, we've had a heat advisor for a week straight. So um, luckily I did get my air compressor fixed in my car. Literally took almost my whole fucking check. My whole first check. Um, I gave people here some money, got some food. I took care of the cats and got my air conditioning working in my fucking car. But that was, that was, that was, a, that was like a, a quarter of how much my damn car cost. But I have air conditioning. So that's the most important thing. Um, and so I just been moving. I didn't. Uh, my job gave me a, what a month or two to get a project done <laughs> I finished it on Friday so that's good <laughs> it wasn't really that hard it just it just took quiet time to do and so um, I'm gonna be again working from home tomorrow so I'm still pushing through this um, so if you have if your intentions are pure and they're full of love and they're for my highest and greatest good I would gladly accept your prayers and healing energy sent my way. Um, we have a strong, real tribe of people. We know there are ones that are trying to infiltrate us and say that they're of the light so they can do work on us just for my other readers and light beings and workers. Um, you can be all love and light as you want, but people don't like that, so they will attack you just for being you. But it's okay, because as I said before, they're throwing magic at a magician. Idiots with love. Um... But anyway, I want to get on that. So, I, uh, I'm just going to alchemize this. But I will take any of your healing energy sent my way. I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Um, the weather's starting to finally break. Let me show you the sky a little. I need to start doing my videos facing the road considering I'm being gang stalked. Stalked, period. And, uh... I don't know if people realize that not just gang stalking when you have proof of it, people riding it back and forth in your house, but not only that, but uh, slander, you can sue people. Hello, black butterfly. You can sue people for defamation of character. Yeah. Just a little side note. Uh, side note of being still stalked and gang stalked. Ex driving up and down the road. Yeah, I think that's it. I really haven't had nothing else to say. Um, just the fact that uh, the Phoenix always rises. We're strong. And um, if I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> so that's come my way. Um, yeah, this is a lengthy one. Lengthy, lengthy spell work. It's just becoming a, just a, a bothersome. But not, you know, it's nothing going to stop me. It's just bothersome at this point. It's like I, I thought people would recognize, and it's interesting how energies really don't recognize that. Like everything that they throw at you, first of all, it backfires uh, because, especially when they do it against um, a divine instant being and someone who has done nothing wrong to them, it comes back. The backfires. It's pretty intense. I think it's you know someone doing spell work on them, but that's not what it is. But I'm mumbling now. Um, I hope you're healthy and happy, full of joy, you guys. I truly do. May you love and be loved. Heal. Don't harm.